Mr. Brewington, I, I know you're a religious man, so I know what occurred here this morning wasn't lost on you, and, and it wasn't lost on me, but for the record and for everyone in this room, what we witnessed here today was a miracle. It was an immaculate conception of these lines. For Mr. For Mr. For Mr. For Mr. Officer to sit here and tell me that, and tell us all, that these lines were somehow drawn, and, and these lines are the spawn of a bunch of attorneys based on an interpretation of law, and that while we go through the process, these lines are orphans, effectively, until someone decides to adopt them. Somewhere along the way here, an immaculate conception took place. These lines were not drawn in a vacuum, and these lines were not drawn by someone who believed that we were duty-bound to just move forward. These lines were drawn as the most partisan, the most cynical, and the most absurd way of getting to redistricting in this county. And I, I just want to make sure that, that you've been witness to this, as I have, that what we have here today is a presiding officer telling us that these are not his lines, these are somehow lines that are out there, and maybe they'll be passed, and maybe they won't, and we'll go through this process. That's simply not true. Mr. Wayne, you used the phrase, and I so 